I'm gonna change this logo in this helmet from an Eagles helmet to a completely different team with just one click of a button. With constant updates, new improvements, new features, and new apps, things just keep getting better and better in the AI world. And today, I'm gonna share an amazing update in ChatGPT via DALL-E. And this one may have gone unnoticed, which is surprising because this is actually an amazing new feature. And what we're looking at today is the new ability to now edit your AI-generated images. That includes getting inspirational ideas in painting and editing images, removing unwanted objects, and adding or editing words. So today, I'm going to show you how to do all of this right now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is first come up with a prompt that we're going to have Doll E create for us. And for that, I'd like to head over to my Mega Prompts database. Check the links in the description for this Mega Prompts database plus hundreds of prompts. Now this specific database houses thousands of prompts for every single category imaginable. Right now at the top, you could see that I am currently on the AI art prompts tab right here, where you can go through and sort through each one, open up each individual cell, and then simply copy the prompt to get that same exact image. Well, since we're specifically in Doll E today, on the left-hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my Doll E category. And so if you don't have access to this mega prompt database. I'll put a link in my description. Now we're going to try a few different things. I like this one right here with the football helmet and I'm going to show you how I can take the emblem and helmet style of this specific team. I'm going to change this logo in this helmet from an Eagles helmet to a completely different team with just one paint stroke and one click of a button. But first I want to start with this image right here. This is a pretty cool comic book style superhero one right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is come in here and I'm going to go ahead and copy this whole entire prompt exactly how it is. And then we're going to head over to ChatGPT. Now, of course, you have to have ChatGPT4. That's going to be the version where you could utilize Dolly and generate images directly from within ChatGPT. So before we actually generate another superhero image like this one, first, let me show you something pretty cool. The easiest way to do this is over here on the left-hand side, go ahead and then select Explore GPTs. So now you're over here on the GPT page. Go ahead and select the Dolly. E GPT right here next to top picks. Select Doll E and then make sure you're actually on this one right here that says Doll E by Chat GPT. Select this one and then initiate the start chat. Here we are. Now we are in the official Doll E GPT. Now, of course, you don't have to use this method to generate images, but the reason I'm specifically showing you this is because down here at the bottom, this little area right here is new. Now, check this out. We can get an assortment of different inspirational ideas. So, for example, we have low polygon. If you hover over it, you can look at the sort of image you're going to get, then scroll over to night, 3D wireframe, moss, and then art deco. But here's the thing, this button right here, let's go ahead and click it and shuffle it. Now we're going to get a whole new idea or a whole new set of design standards. So we have fantasy, tapestry, hand-drawn, watercolor, and then pop art. And again, you can continue to hit that shuffle button until you come up with something that looks intriguing to you. Okay, so now moving forward, what I'm gonna do now is now that prompt that I copied earlier over here in this database, now I'm gonna go ahead and then just simply paste this whole entire prompt in, okay? Paste it in as is and now hit enter and then let Dolly do its magic. Okay, now look at that. Now, just like that, I'm gonna get these two images Images right here. Let's just do a double take to make sure it's similar. Okay. Very similar indeed. Now, one thing to keep in mind, look at this image right here. Notice it's a wider angle type image. How come the other ones we got in Dali are not? Well, no problem. Here is something else I wanted to show you. The next time you generate an image over here on the right hand side, Check out this button that says aspect ratio. If you toggle that, now you have three options to give you a different size image. We have square, widescreen, and vertical. So that makes it much easier to get the exact specifications and the aspect ratio that you're looking for. Okay, but now that we have our images ready to go, here is where the fun and impressive new update begins. To start, let's just go ahead and then click on an image, okay? Once you click on any image, it's gonna populate and bring up a screen that looks like this. Now watch this. Again, on the right hand side, we still have two options that we could choose to generate something different. But watch this. Let's do some editing. Up here at the very top, you're going to notice now that you have these options, okay? This little button right here, this paintbrush button, go ahead and now select this. Once you have it selected, this is where you're going to do some powerful editing 
with this paintbrush. So first things first, on the left-hand side, at the top left-hand corner, we have this little slider. This will actually determine the size of your paintbrush. If I bring it all the way to the left, look how small it is. If I bring it all the way over to the right, look how big it is. I'm gonna put it somewhere in the middle. Let's just choose one of these superheroes, and then let's just completely remove them from this image. So for an example, let's say I wanna get rid of this one in the bottom right-hand corner. Let me make my brush just a little bit smaller. All you have to do is just now simply paint over this superhero right here, highlight and hover and paint over it. Now, once it's released, here is where you're gonna tell ChatGPT what you want. Down here in the bottom right hand corner, simply just tell it the directions you want it to follow. So in this case, I'm gonna say remove specific superhero. Okay, so you can see I have it typed in. It says remove specific superhero, now select enter. Now watch this. Within about 30 to 60 seconds, give it some time to think, that superhero will completely disappear from the picture and you won't even be able to tell. And then just like that, that superhero is gone. Very impressive feature. One that's gonna be highly helpful moving forward. Okay, so now let's go ahead and then put things in reverse. Let me find another cool prompt that I could use. I'm gonna go back over to this database right here, okay? And now let me try something different, okay? I like this image right here. I'm gonna go ahead and then feed this the same exact prompt. It really is quite simple of a prompt, but now I'm gonna go ahead and then just paste it in. But here is what we're gonna do next. So, like I said earlier, I want to replace the Philadelphia Eagles football helmet with just one paint stroke and one click of a button. So, in this case, we're gonna do the same thing as before. We're gonna get a paintbrush, and I'm gonna make it larger this time, and what we're gonna do is just simply, again, paint over the image like this, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but it does help to make sure that you can kind of get all the edges, okay? So now that it's highlighted, yet again, over here on the right-hand side, just tell it the prompt or the directions that you want it to follow. And then what I said was just replace this Philadelphia Eagles football helmet with a Kansas City Chiefs helmet. Once you have that prompt in there, again, select enter, wait about 60 seconds, and then that helmet is automatically gonna reappear, but now this time as a red Kansas City Chiefs football helmet. Okay, and then look at that. Just like that, it did it perfectly. Red helmet, that is definitely a Kansas City Chiefs football helmet. Okay, so here is the original image I used, but then when I did this earlier today, check out the results I got this time around. Look at that, this one did it flawlessly. Now I think it helped because my original image, I chose a wider aspect ratio, and that's why it actually shows both helmets like this. But as you can see from this image, it really did a fantastic job. The color scheme is accurate. The logos are perfect. I couldn't have been happier with this image right here. Okay, so just like I'm showing you right now how you can remove items, let's just reverse the script a little bit. And now let me show you how we can actually add new items. So back over here in ChatGPT, let's just feed Dolly a very simple prompt. I'm just gonna say a cute puppy. Okay, awesome, look at the results I got right here. I just wish I could reach in there and then pet it. Okay, so again, the next step, click on this specific image. Now that it's up, we're gonna do the same thing we've been doing. Select that paintbrush and adjust your size. Now watch this. Now, this time, I'm gonna paint in two spots. I'm gonna paint right here, and then I'm gonna paint right here. Here's what we're gonna do next. Again, down here in the bottom right-hand corner, we're gonna adjust our prompt, and now I'm gonna tell the prompt to add two bows. Okay, now check this out. Just like that, look how realistic and amazing this is. Exactly where I painted on my photo, I got exactly what I was wanting, two bows. Now the cool thing about this, you could even take it further and further. I can keep the same bows, I could also highlight it again, and then feed it the prompt to say, make the bows blue or red and then you could just change it and edit the style as a moving process. Okay, now let's move on to one more thing. Let's go over an image. Let's try this Vikings image right here, okay? This is a pretty cool image. Let's see if I can first reduplicate this image by copying the prompt. We're gonna come back in here and see if we can create it. Then from here, I'm gonna highlight the word Vikings and see if I can replace the wording with something completely different. Okay, perfect. Look at these amazing images we got. So we got two images and they they both look fantastic. However, the one on the right-hand side looks like there is a little bit of a misspelling. So let's work off of this one right here. So now what we're gonna do, same thing. Select that paintbrush, adjust your sizing. We're gonna paint over the whole entire thing. 
this time because we're going to completely change the text up. OK, let's see if we can change up the words. And just for this example, even though it doesn't make sense, I'm just going to say the words cowboys. Let's see if it could generate this text now, replacing the word Vikings with now the word cowboys. Now, two things to keep in mind. I put the cowboys again, all caps, and then make sure you have the actual word in those quotation marks. For some reason, that's going to work way better. Okay. And then magically, just like that, first time, first go around, it got it flawlessly perfect. Highly impressive with what this did. So there you have it. Another amazing update by ChatGPT via Dolphin. Ali. And this one may have gone unnoticed, but it's highly impressive. But let me know what you guys think. Try it out and then respond with some comments to let me know how successful you were in editing your images like these. But thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. I'm